Mars Rover Vehicle The car that you see on the screen was developed in the NASA Space Center, and it took about five months to make it. The Mars Rover has a futuristic look. It's 8.5 meters long, 3.4 meters tall, and 4 meters wide. This unusual vehicle was designed to move people around the surface of Mars, but it won't be able to ever fulfill this mission. The materials used were composite and aluminium, which makes the SUV relatively lightweight. 2.7 tons overall. The maximum speed of movement is 110 km per hour. However, the creators state that on Mars, the working speed would be 25 km per hour. NASA's Mars rover has incredible maneuverability, thanks to its six wheels with a diameter of 127 centimeters. In addition, the wheels have a unique shape to more effectively overcome obstacles. Instead of tires, the aluminium discs are covered by rubber strips, allowing them to be quickly cleaned of sand. Yamaha Motoroid In the fall of 2017, experts from the Japanese company Yamaha showed a conceptual smart electric motorbike called the Motoroid. The designers used original stylistic solutions during the design, giving the model a very futuristic appearance. By using electricity as fuel, the Motoroid is friendly to the environment. The chromed cylinders located on the sides perform not only an aesthetic function, they are also stylized storage batteries that store the power reserve. It's no accident that we call this electric bike smart. The fact is that the vehicle can interact with the driver thanks to the built-in artificial intelligence. The bike can recognize faces and body movements and move autonomously. The main advantage is the automatic balance control system. Thanks to it, for example, if the motorcycle is pushed, it automatically returns to its original position. Renault Float In 2017, another futuristic car, this time designed by Renault, was introduced. On the outside, this model doesn't look much like a vehicle. It's more like a flying or a floating bubble. It's noteworthy that this car was designed by the most ordinary student. The company Renault held a competition for the best design of the car of the future. And the Renault Float was the winner. Instead of liquid fuel, the car uses electricity to travel around. It floats in the air using the same technology that Elon Musk uses for his ultra-high-speed trains. Thanks to this technology, the float will be able to smoothly move in any direction without turning or bending. The vehicle is equipped with a bucket seat and sliding doors. There are several versions of this car. In the first model, inside the bubble, there is space for only one person. Other versions are equipped with passenger seats as well as additional seats. Terrafugia TFX Modern vehicle manufacturers surprise us every day with their new technological innovations. The Terrafugia's TFX is a real flying car. According to some sources, this machine is being tested in a wind tunnel. The model is equipped with retractable wings and built-in electric motors with a capacity of 600 horsepower. It's known that the cruising speed of the car is 322 kilometers per hour and it can travel up to 805 kilometers. The manufacturer claims that the car is designed to carry up to four people and is able to move from door to door. It's noteworthy that the driving process is completely computerized. To get to the right place, all you need to do is enter the destination address into the system. Hopefully the Terrafugia TFX will be out on the market in the next 8 to 12 years. The estimated price will be about $300,000. Surefly 
Here we have one of the most ambitious projects of the company Workhorse, engaged in the development of electric vehicles. Surefly is a flying taxi, which moves using a hybrid power plant. It's equipped with a gasoline generator with a capacity of 200 horsepower. According to the creators, this passenger drone can travel 112 kilometers and raise a load of 180 kilograms. At the moment, the vehicle is still under development. The first test flight was conducted in the spring of 2018, and at the end, the drone reached a height of only half a meter. Nevertheless, this is an important step to continue the working process. It is noteworthy that the passenger drone is equipped with a lithium battery. If the engine fails, the battery will last for five minutes. Usually this time is enough to safely land the vehicle and avoid falling. Nevertheless, the main feature of the drone is the control system. Once the pilot sets the direction, the vehicle decides the quickest and safest way to reach the destination. Sherp ATV. Here we have a car with a capacity of 44.3 horsepower, capable of developing a speed of 45 kilometers an hour, while still having a carrying capacity of one ton. The Sherp ATV is a cross-country vehicle created by a Russian company. Its main feature is its unique, unparalleled patency. It's able to move on ice, and moreover, it can also easily travel along the water. It's designed to overcome 35 degree steps. The sealed housing doesn't let water into the cabin. Each wheel has a volume of 800 liters and it's connected to the pumping system. It has a relatively small weight and small dimensions to move even in confined spaces. It shows incredible stamina and it's able to move even when two wheels out of four fail. It is noteworthy that the car is equipped with a cargo hold with a capacity of 170 liters. There you can store different objects or place an additional fuel tank. Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector The vehicle you see on the screen is designed to transport troops across the water, and it's a development of the United States. The length of this landing amphibian on Caterpillar tracks is 26 meters. It's 10 meters tall, and the speed of movement on water is 37 kilometers per hour. Supposedly, the machine withstands a standard load of 150 tons. But in a state of overload, it's able to move with a load of up to 190 tons. The power reserve is 370 kilometers. Thus, the UHAC is able to completely replace a landing craft, since it has higher technical characteristics. The undoubted advantage is the ability of the vehicle to enter the beach, as well as overcoming obstacles on land. For example, anti-cannon dams up to 3 meters tall. In addition, this machine has a low maintenance cost, which also is an advantage. PARS 6x6 CBRN here we have an exploration military vehicle of the Turkish company FNSS Savunma Sistemleri. The peculiarity of the car is that it's resistant to chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear weapons, which is how it got its name. The basis was a conventional military PARS 6x6 car. Improvements made it possible to move the armed forces in complete safety. It's equipped with a system for detection and identification of weapons of mass destruction, as well as toxic industrial materials. It's designed to move four people, more exactly the driver, the commander and two system operators. There's also a larger car configuration, the PARS 8x8 CBRN, designed for six people. The car is 7 meters long, 20 and a half meters wide and it weighs 20 tons. It's noteworthy that the PARS 6x6 CBRN can't travel long distances on its own. Transport planes are used for most of the transportation. Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting.